actually um, had wanted to know, I know that um, in a couple of your snaps you said, you know, you have a family and um, I know you don't show like your kids on snap and stuff like that, but I'm just curious on how how you balance it all. Um, I kind of do a couple different things and every, you know, for a while there I kind of felt like I had everything at least, you know, up in the air and then it kind of all came down and now just trying to get everything spinning again. I just feel like, you know, if I'm doing good on one, then I'm failing at another and I just want to know how you balance it all. I think I balance it all by not judging myself too harshly. I think that's really where it starts and stops. I think way too many people um, have lost the work-life balance before it even started because they're gonna be critical on themselves regardless of it, right? It's so hard to balance and so for me, I just know I'm doing the best that I can. And if I'm doing the best that I can, that in itself has put me in a position to succeed. And some days that means that I have to choose my family time on a Friday night or uh, uh, Sunday morning, a, an executive ran into me on Saturday and asked me to meet for coffee and wanted to jam and I just couldn't. You know, I couldn't because of the family time, right? And so that's the family being chosen. Other times I'm you know, flying and speaking somewhere or meeting, having a big meeting and I'm missing you know, some sort of like school function that I don't want to miss. And that's the other way. And the truth is I just don't beat myself up. All of us are trying the best we can. And so as long as you know, nothing is glaring, and to me glaring is the following. My kids have become completely horrible people and have major problems in society and or I go directly out of business in my businesses. As long as neither one of those are happening, I think it's gonna be okay. And so I think it's how you judge how you're balancing way more than the reality of it. And recognizing that you have a different point of view on it than your partner, than the kids, than your business associates. And I think you need to care about your point of view on it first and foremost while being empathetic to everybody else's points of view. Awesome. <laughs>